So join us for this adventure. And uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to quote Joe again. Uh, we'll see what's next. friends well today's adventure is going to take us into the coast range north coast range where I usually don't go of Oregon uh, that's going to have us go up into the Clatsop State Forest um, if you've ever been around there uh, spruce run area and we're going to uh, camp one night there then we're gonna head down to Valley of the Giants on day two which is some of the oldest uh, surviving old growth in the state, as I understand it. I'll get details once I get there. And then we're going to go to uh, Camp Spot South of Yahats that Dakota recommended. Uh, thanks to Dakota for that. Also thanks to Brent from Frontier Overland for giving us the spot for tonight, which uh, I'm looking forward to. So on this adventure, I will be joined by several of my friends from high school who I don't get to see nearly as much as I'd like to. Uh, Colin and Derek, they both drive Raptors. And then uh, Jeremy and Corey, who both drive Tacomas. So we will have a group of five for this adventure. Uh, they are uh, not overlanders. This will be their first, their first overlanding uh, trip. But, I mean, Jeremy's an ex-Marine and Colin's the Eagle Scout. Uh, Corey and, and Jeremy used to, all, we used to always go camping together back in high school, so. It's, uh, it's old times. And I've known these guys for between probably 30, 36 years now. So it's gonna be nice to go out with, uh, with some old friends. Join us, won't you? <laughs> Here's my four hour drive north and west compressed into about a minute and a half. Friday night at five is not a good time to travel on Interstate 5. I took one detour around a crash in Albany and then a huge detour to avoid traffic in Portland. In the end, the detours took about as long as going straight through, but I much prefer moving through farmland as opposed to sitting still on a highway. Plus, traffic is bad for the clutch. I ended up going through Brooks, St. Paul, Newburgh, Forest Grove, and Banks, a route that was going to look very familiar the next day. Oh, tunnel. Better honk excessively because that's what you do in tunnels. You up, bitches? Cheers. Moshi, moshi. <laughs> I, went, I went up that that one first. Oh, oh shit. I went way the fuck there, down. There's another there's a tent right up on top, at the very top. Yeah, that's where I it's started to go day. the second time. Yeah. <laughs> and I got to a point and I was like, this can't be right. I'm moving further away from the dock. <laughs> This was a very cool spot and we were lucky to get it. Every other spot in the area was taken. This one had a good mix of space, view, and privacy. 
If the weather had been a little bit nicer, we could have seen Saddle Mountain really well. And you can kind of see the base of it here, and it is super pretty. At this point, we were one Tacoma short, but Corey would arrive in a little bit with a surprise. Look at what this mother brings. We're, we're roughing it out here. I, I take my old high school friends out for overlanding excitement, and they bring pizza. This is fantastic. Safety sandals. Damn right. You take a toe off. I'm not driving you anywhere. It's too far. Yeah. We'll just tie it up or cauterize, I think. Yeah, I got a lighter. I think I have a torch around somewhere. Good morning, Corey. Good morning. How did you sleep? I slept very well until my work called me to say, hey, do you want overtime? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go with no. <laughs> Jeremy, do you have pants on? Does it fucking matter? Yeah. How'd you sleep? I don't want to be videotaped. What's up, man? It's videotape? How old are you? 46. <laughs> What's that? So I'm going to film you. Making coffee? Yeah. Uh, you know, if, if I was a fancy channel, I would do it in slow-mo and play some music in the background. It's like, here's making coffee. But I don't do food segments. Mainly because I don't eat. Maybe you should. That could be your new thing. No, I'm not, I'm not that guy. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> You're just going to jam the whole thing in the back. Well, what else is going to do? That works well. People are into that. No, I oh, don't. No. <laughs> Some people are into it. <laughs> yeah, success, man. I'm not going to look up my rear view mirror. Do you really need it? Good job. Hello, friends. Well, day two. Uh, we just uh, stopped by Lost Lake. We're going to head down to the Valley of Giants. Valley of the Giants. Uh, it's about three hours from here, and then from there, we're gonna head down to a spot just south of Yahats and uh, set up. That should be uh, six hours overall. Uh, nobody's super enthused about that. So, thanks to uh, Frontier Overland, we had a really nice spot up here in the Clatsop Forest. And I would say Clatsop Forest is a pretty good place to go camping. Uh, there's a lot of spots up here. There were a lot of people in all the spots, though. I mean, there were, oh, I think three or four spots around us, and we could see people in all of them. But it is the first uh, the first weekend after school let out, so that makes sense. But we didn't hear any gunfire. We didn't hear any loud hooting. I mean, we were the loudest ones, I think, around. So that's nice. So we plan to ride out and uh, go for a hike and uh, have a good day with friends. Hopefully I don't come up against anybody on this terrifying one-way road. here and they're both working so uh, I'm doing some testing out of how we're gonna 
move forward with uh, doing video in the truck. Um, I'm not really sure if I like this one over here because it, uh, it just gets my face really close and in the back seats. This one gets whatever I'm driving past as well. And of course, this camera is how Top Gear does it. And you know, that's, that's, how, that's how Top Gear does it. But, um, so we tried to go to Valley of the Gods we made two attempts to get into the woods, and both of them were blocked off by fucking warehouser gates. You know how I feel about warehouser? They can eat f**ks. A big bag of f**ks. Or a bowl. Or a swimming pool. F**ks is in their mouths infinitely, is what I'm saying. F**k warehouser and their gates. But anyway, so we're just going to bypass that. We're heading down to Lincoln City now. Uh, we're going to catch 101 going south for about two miles out of Lincoln City. And uh, head down to Yahats, and then we got a, a spot I know of a little bit further south than that. Anyway, heading southbound, we will see how it shakes out. Uh, next report. <laughs> uh, I feel a bit bad about disappointing the guys. I'm not sure they how, how much they were into going for a, a hike in the forest anyway. They're not really hikers. Um, Colin has flip-flops, so yeah, on to Lincoln City. I'm doing the walk and talk thing like Charles does. So we are down at uh, Glenenden Beach? Glenen, Glenny, Glenny, something or other. There's a Glen in it. Uh, it was just the first one we saw, South Lincoln City, so we so we made a, sh a sharp turn. They got two big old tower things over there. I don't know what they are. Valley of the Giants was a fail, so we're just gonna head south. The guys are ready just to go camp anyway, so uh, less exploring, more more driving. Corey, how do you feel that we, we weren't able to go hiking into the, at the Valley of the... Oh, sad. Oh, yeah. sad. Yeah, it would have been cool to see. But it's okay. Someday. Someday, yes. Someday. Excuse to come back. Yup. No, this is not a... Like, Jeremy, what? how do you feel that we you weren't able to go see the Valley of the Giants? I don't know. That I completely failed you. Elated? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured that was something along those lines. Derek, are you are you, uh, are you you tragically upset that you won't get to see the, the Valley well, of the considering, Giants? Considering uh, I was already dreading the walk because my foot hurts, no. Yeah. Well, no walking today, hooray! So we continued down the coast until we found what turned out to be an amazing spot. We got set up and then did what middle-aged men do. And fair warning, I'm going to get a bit philosophical here, so feel free to ignore this bit. We listened to the music of our youth way too loud and talked about the old days when we were young and full of stupid. We talked about how we are now old and full of body pains and financial responsibilities. We talked about missing friends and how we missed those friends. We fell into the same interactions that we've been having since before we could drive. A lot of getting older is not fun. Seeing those things you used to be able to do become impossible, and all those other potential futures fade into the one path you followed. But being able to sit with old friends, enjoying their company, and remembering good times is almost worth the trade-off. Okay, everybody's asleep. 
so I have to talk very quietly. But this is working much better this time. Quick note, this is the second time I've used the Kelly Kettle. Last time it sort of exploded. Check out my video, Winter Coast Camping, from February 23 for that fun. I'll link it below. Now let's wait for the fire to calm down. And then we'll go ahead and have some biscuits and gravy for breakfast. Because that's what you do. Kong wanted to be in a cloud all last night. It looks like that's finally happening. Corey, it just started dumping rain on us in the past few minutes. Uh, do you have any words of wisdom? Anything to, to impart on anybody on your first overland trip? I'm glad I slept under the canopy. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Jeremy, you don't want to be on camera? I hate being on camera, but hi. Hi. Bye. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Love you, buddy. Hey, <laughs> do you have anything to impart on anybody on your first overland trip? No, it was fun. Had a blast. All right, good. I'll go bug Derek. Where'd Derek go? <laughs> He's just staying. <laughs> I live here now. Hey, do you have anything to impart on your first overland trip? Uh, less rain. Less rain? I mean, really, we only got rain now. Yeah. No, it was great. Had fun. All right, look back at me and say it. Is that oh, what I just it was great. Had fun. <laughs> Are you going to do it again? Yeah, of course. All right, right on. I'm, I think I'm going to take off because I'm all packed. Sounds good. All right, well, I'm rolling out. Everybody else is heading different directions. Ooh, this is steep. This is just, this is quite intimidating, this going up this hill, which I'm sure the dash cam won't accurately give a perception of, but I'll, I'll switch over to that. This feels like driving straight up a cliff. Oh! I can't have that happen while I'm driving. Is that? Seems solid. All right. In four wheel drive, let's get up this. Fucker. Camera falls off now, we're just gonna let it. Oh, it's vibrating like a mother. So, anyway, great time with my friends. Uh, cool new spots on the coast range I now know about, which is cool. Oh, Jesus. And overall, a good weekend. Yeah, it just started dumping rain, it's kind of calmed down now. Oh, this is steep. Oh, I'm going to be floaty here. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. Except it was a good weekend. Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. That plate does not work very well as a suction. any of that coming up the hill but I did have it in, on the dash cam right that's still working so that's good I'm trying one more location with the, uh, the thing it's it's not working well because the thing keeps falling off um, we are way up here in the clouds uh, it didn't really rain until this morning it just started coming down while we were packing up oh, there goes that thing again I'm gonna crash this <sighs> hopefully this works better I got this plastic plate that it came with that it says, hey, stick to this, it'll work. 
and it doesn't work at all. I have no idea how much that video I got because this thing just kept falling off. So let me just go ahead and say, had a great weekend with my old friends, Corey, Colin, Jeremy and Derek. Uh, I think they had a great time. We talked about a lot, a lot of reminiscing. Might mainly reminisce. That's almost not even what we did. Just sit on the fire and talk. I think we might be able to make this a yearly thing, which is good. We don't get to see each other as much as we used to. Subscribe, please. I really like subscription. That's the only number I really care about. I like to see that number go up. And frankly, I'd like to catch Charles at some point. I got my blinkers and my brights on. Good Lord. And blinkers still on. Thankfully nobody's driving on this road at eight in the morning on a Sunday. So far. Oh. Remember, you never stop on the way back.